Have you ever uploaded your photos to Instagram and thought they looked pixelated or grainy? Well, this is because your exporting is incorrect. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can properly export your photos from Photoshop or Lightroom into Instagram to get the best results possible when it comes to sharpness and clarity. And I'm gonna start right now. Now Instagram has an incredibly bad compression and it can ruin photos. So unless you actually achieve a good export, sometimes it can make your photos look incredibly grainy or possibly pixelated. So today I'm gonna to quickly show you how you can export correctly just for Instagram. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load up this sample photo. Now as you can see at the moment, the cropping ratio is slightly different to what Instagram allow. So what we're gonna do firstly is we're going to crop the photo. So I'm gonna to go to my cropping tool found on the left hand side and I'm gonna go ahead and select four by five. Now if you select four by five, either landscape or portrait, this will allow you to achieve the most amount of room that Instagram allows. So obviously this is a landscape photo, so I'm gonna switch that over to landscape. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. Now, Instagram will only allow a certain pixel ratio on its website, so we can actually achieve that look right straight out of Photoshop so there is no compression in the photo itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and bring up our canvas image size, and what we're going to do is we're gonna reduce the width of this to 1,350. This is the largest Instagram will allow. So you've got 1,350 here, and if you click that arrow here, you'll end up with a height of 1080p. And then we can have our resolution of 72. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click OK. What it will do is it will reduce it down to the size that Instagram will allow. And then what I recommend doing is then starting to add in all of your adjustment layers and effects. What this will do is it will end up looking exactly how it will end up looking on Instagram. And there'll be no difference between the actual image itself and Instagram. And what you can do is to achieve a really good look is I recommend changing the background color. Instagram has got a user interface that is predominantly white. So you can replicate that in Photoshop by going to that gray area around the photo, right clicking and going down to custom color and then go ahead and select white. And you can see how your photo actually interacts with the overall experience or interface of that color. And as you can see, Instagram is white. Overall, this photo looks really good on a white background. And there we go, guys. That is how you can correctly export your photo for Instagram.